healthcare will change because the way we pay for healthcare is going to change. If we want to foster value-based healthcare, that's what we need to incentivize. At the end, you get what you pay for. Value-based healthcare is really putting the patient back in the center, making sure that we measure what's valuable to patients, either in terms of controlling symptoms or improving their quality of life. We have limited resources. We need to establish priorities. Nobody's questioning that we have to measure the value, but we need to agree in the methodology. If you start with the patient, you will have a very different definition of value than if you start with value of a medication, cost of a surgery. You may have one drug that has several indications. And for each indication, the drug may have a different value. So paying for outcomes means that you no longer pay for units for the pill, but you pay for the results. Because it's not going to be the same effect, for example, of aspirin in combating the flu that in combating uh, pain in the knee. And the drug works for the two indications. Change is going to be very difficult if we don't figure out which is the business model. You don't need to think anymore in your traditional primary care structure and hospital structure, but you're thinking about a pathway across them all. A whole new framework that allows us to redefine healthcare industries, healthcare structures. We could do risk sharing agreements, or we could think also, for example, about uh, sharing savings. And that's very different because now all of a sudden you're an emergency room doctor, you're going to have to work more closely with the housing agency or the food bank, which is something you've never done before. That changes the way the business is going to be shaped, how we're going to even apply the fees. It's probably going to be much more subscription based, which is based on avoiding sickness in first place. Are we ready to take the jump in terms of being customer focused? giving the sustainability for systems and not just driving sales, just driving introduction of innovation. Are we there? No. Do we have to get there? Yes.